The more the industry deconstructs buildings, the more opportunity there is to segregate materials and recycle them, retain at their highest value. Historically, the route to recycle glass was both logistically challenging and costly. Our customers' focus on reducing embodied carbon makes recycling elements of the existing building essential in achieving our common goals. At Chalcott's Estate, we are refurbishing four 23-storey towers, replacing 24,000 square metres of cladding and 3,496 windows, while around 3,500 residents remain in situ. Downcycling is easy. Taking glass from buildings and turning it into bottles or aggregate is a mature process that is already established in the market. Recycling was a challenge because the solution was not on the table and we had to break down the barriers of dismantling the glass, transporting the glass and managing the costs through the process. 18 months ago, I met St Gobain following a call to the industry for direct action on glass recycling. Uh, Sangaban manufactures high-performance flat glass for the construction industry in the UK, for residential buildings but also for commercial buildings. Cullet is waste glass. Pre-consumer cullet is the offcuts that we recover from our glass processor customers, so it's glass that hasn't been used before in a building. Post-consumer glass is effectively glass from old windows and old facades. Uh, Post-consumer cullet is a great source of resource and material to manufacture new glass and that's what we're really trying to do here at Sangaban. So I first engaged with McLaren uh, back in 2021. I, I was speaking at a large conference in London uh, about basically recovering end-of-life glass on projects and that was the beginning of the process that brings us to where we are today. So one of the particular issues we had to face was that of transport um, because getting the glass up to this area of the country in order to break it became prohibitively expensive. So we had to find a different way of doing things than we'd functioned before, which was basically where Power Day then came into the equation introduced by McLaren. So that gave us a base in London to start crushing glass and that brought the transport cost down by about 85% which basically meant the whole project became really feasible in a way that hadn't been before. As a long-standing supply chain partner, Powerday stepped in to provide us with the um, remanufacture process from taking the dismantled glass and turning it into colour in the south. When we think about our sustainability objectives here at Powerday, there's a number of measures that we, that we take and right at the top of those measures are circular initiatives. So where we can take a product that comes into us on our skips or roll-on-offs or wheelie bins, where we can take that material type and reintroduce it back into the supply chain to remanufacture those products. So those circular initiatives are hugely important and the McLaren and saint Gobain initiative absolutely fits with those uh, objectives and measures that we want to take here at Power Day. So there are multiple benefits to closed loop recycling. We're going to be using less resources. We're going to be saving the amount of CO2 through the manufacturing process. And we're going to be generating less waste. So McLaren have got net zero carbon sustainability targets. We want to be, for scopes one and two, we want to be net zero carbon by 2025. And then for scopes three, 2045. Where we're increasing the recycled content of any material, whether it's glass or aluminium, we're reducing the amount of embodied carbon that's going into the manufacturing process. This is helping our scope three emissions. So within the last 12 months at Alutrade, we've recycled 26,000 tonnes of aluminium, and that's aluminium within all its forms, uh, predominantly extrusion recycling. The relationships we've got within the remote industry within the UK, um, it, it put us in the best position to help McLaren with the, the job that they've got, which is removing the window safely. So McLaren is the first contractor that we've worked with um, with regards to post-consumer removal of, uh, of windows out of buildings. Um, so it's a sector that we are eager to, to sort of try and grow, but McLaren are the first and um, yeah, first of many, hopefully. Our customers focus on reducing embodied carbon make recycling elements of the existing building essential in achieving our common goals. This project identified a huge opportunity with Camden 
to assist them in achieving their sustainability aspirations. We were really pleased to see that uh, McLaren's uh, tender offer included quite a number of initiatives. It's quite innovative and I'm just so pleased that we are part of this as part with, with this project on the Chalcott estate and I'm keen to see uh, how much we can do and contribute with 5,000 windows of being recycled in terms of glass and metal. What we have been able to do here is connect the circular economy and collaborate together with a group of companies on a common goal. The opportunity this leads to the construction industry is that there's so much colour available uh, through deconstruction. If we can get it to the manufacturers, we can lower embodied carbon throughout construction.